Hello everyone, I'm Sarah Jane and welcome to this session of Creator Clock. Hiya. Hiya Kev, how you doing? I'm alright, thanks. What have you been up to since last time? I made a finger puppet. Now, let's have a look Kev. It looks just like Kev! Yeah, but it's my Auntie Gertrude! Auntie Gertrude! What an awesome job, Kev! Well done! <laughs> I'm going to put her over there. What are you doing today, Sarah Jane? We are making... Fishes! Fish! Wow! Okay, so what you're going to need for that is some glue, a pencil, a marker pen, some scissors. Some tin foil uh, for decoration and two pieces of card or thick paper. Some kitchen towel in case you make a mess. And for the actual bubble blowing, you're going to need something like this. This is a muffin tray. But remember, do ask your mummy or daddy uh, permission to use a muffin tray because they don't want paint in their muffins when they start to cook muffins. No, no, they don't. This <laughs> is good because it's shallow. So the paint and the bubbles don't have to go very far to get to the top of the surface of the muffin tray. You're also going to need some water. I'm using a milk bottle because it's easy to pour out of. Or you can use a jug. The magic ingredient, washing up liquid. And obviously some paint. I'm going to be using six colours today because it works really, really well if you layer up the paint. Okay? Ow! Oh, and the most important thing you need to make the bubbles is a straw. Where's my straw? Kev! <laughs> you little monkey! <laughs> There's my straw. Thank you, Kev. Right, <laughs> let's get started. Take your card and fold it in half. The reason why I'm folding it in half is because it makes it easier to draw the fish. So literally you're going to be drawing half the fish and when you unfold it you'll have a full fish. You're going to need to do two of these and stick them together because it will make the fish um, stronger if in case you want to hang it from the ceiling in your bedroom. Oh okay. yeah, and, and I guess you don't need to wait for one side to dry before yes. you can do the other side. Very yeah. true, Kev, okay. very mm -hmm. true. So take the pencil. Yeah. Now if we zoom in so we can see what I'm doing. So you start in this corner and you do half a semicircle up high. Just to about there. Then you flick up to do a tail and then you do a tiny little bit of a detail there to just make it look like a tail and then all you need to do after that is cut it out so you end up with two fish like that okay okay right so once you've got your two fish you can start the bubble blowing Yay! Okay. We're going to need to zoom in on this so we can see what we're doing. Now, so what you need to do is take the paint and you need to give a generous amount so it covers the base of the muffin. So I'm just going to put all six in. Don't think that muffin's going to taste very nice though, Sarah Jane. Okay, once you've got the paint in, take your magic ingredient, washing up liquid. And what you want to do is pour a circle in the middle like a fried egg. Can you see that? Okay. Oh, bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> so, 
with the water, don't fill it right up to the top, but fill it about halfway. Oh, wow. It's magic. Okay. okay. Then you use your straw. You just stir in the paint. Ready. And the washing up liquid. I'm ready to blow, Sarah Jane. Okay. Okay. Bear with me, Kev. Bear with me. Get a piece of kitchen towel. Just wipe it off. Okay. <laughs> just mix them all together. Now, this is just any paint. And then trick is to blow the bubbles a couple of times before you actually put it on your paper to allow the paint to enter into the water and the bubbles and the more you do it the more the paint comes up so my trick is to just do it a couple of times before you dive in to use your paper okay let's get blowing Ready? Ready? Let's go for blue first. I'm just going to pop them down. Again, don't worry if the colour goes into another colour because it, it, it adds to the effect. Have you ever done bubble blowing before, Kev? Yeah. Oh dear, you dropped your straw. It didn't go very well, Sarah Jane. Why is that? I sucked. Oh dear, Kev. Well, it looked like Ribena, so I thought I'd have a bit. Didn't, oh dear. Didn't taste as nice as Ribena, though. I know what you mean, though, Kev. I had a red tongue afterwards. Look, look, you see? <laughs> <laughs> when I'm painting, sometimes I forget where my water jar is, and I put my paintbrush in my cup of tea. Oh. Does that make nice cup of tea? No. No. This is the best bit. I love the noise it makes. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Can you see how it's layering up now? The good thing is don't press it down too hard. Don't let the bubble bubbles pop. Let them sit on, on the paper and pop themselves. That's when you get the nice bubble effect. Okay. Keep going, keep layering it up with the different colours. The more you do it, the more effect and colour you're going to get. Okay. Wow. See, you can see your flower on your head. <laughs> <laughs> see what I mean about the paint? It takes a while for it to come up into the bubbles. Can you see all the oh, lovely yeah. texture? Yeah. Keep going and going and going until you've got the effect. Can you see how it's starting to come? Wow. I'm going to put that over there and I'm going to show you what it looks like once you've done it. Let's move them over there out of the way. Careful. Okay, so can you see? Wow, yeah. Let's have a closer look. Okay. Yeah, you wow. see all the bubbles, the way they popped and created the texture. So what I've done there, I've done both of the sides of the fish and I've glued them together. Okay? Okay. Right. So to add the texture, what you also want to do, once you cut your fish out, you tend to get surplus pieces of paper. And what you can do with those surplus pieces of paper is make a little fin. Oh, yeah. Okay, that you can stick yep. on. And all I've done here is put some foil, a funny shaped foil on it to give it a bit of shine and texture. What, well, like, like, a, like a, a scales on a yeah. fish? So remember, you're going to need to do two so you can stick one on, on each side. So let's just stick it down. There we go. And then also what you're going to need to do is an eye and a mouth. Aye, aye. So what I've done is um, cut out a circle for the eye and a little sort of half a moon 
for the mouth. So I'm going to stick those on. Okay. Doesn't look much like a fish yet. Right, so now what I'm going to use is my marker pen to add a little bit of detail. He's got his eyes closed. Yes. So I'm going to draw around the fin just to make it stand out a bit more. Put a few lines on, give it a bit of texture. And the tail, just to make it look a bit more fish-like. And I'm going to draw around the mouth so you can see where the mouth is. And then on the eye, I'm going to draw around the circle. And then I'm going to put a black pupil. Just colour that in. Just like yours, Kev. Oh, yeah. And there we have it. A bit of an eyebrow and some... And there we go. It's finished. <laughs> Bubble paint fishies. Wow. <laughs> okay, now what you can also make yeah. with your bubble blowing is some other underwater creatures. Things wow. like a bubble paint crab. <laughs> a bubble paint mermaid. She's pretty. Or a bubble paint octopus. Octopus. Okay. Yeah. I hope you are going to have fun blowing your bubbles. And if you like what you've seen, don't yeah. forget to like, like it and, and subscribe. subscribe. See you again next time. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye.